all right guys welcome to another video and in this one this one's gonna be a real quick video it's just gonna be me talking about how to choose the best job when you enlist into the military so uh, myself I'm a marine so that's gonna be the background I'm coming from uh, the job I had was a rifleman I was infantry uh, and I really wish that I, I had seen a video talking about this the, the, the jobs and uh, I wish that I was I, I had the advice that I'm about to give you guys so um, hopefully you get something out of this but without further ado me uh, I'm gonna start as uh, I'm gonna start with the Marine Corps you can only choose in the Marine Corps the job field you wanted to go to so when you talk to a recruiter you can't be like I want to be a machine gunner yeah he'll be like yeah you can be a machine gunner but uh, you know we're just gonna put you as an infantry slot now infantry is a wide array of like I mean technically like 10 MOS's or so uh, MOS's are jobs in the military if you didn't know so, yeah, I signed up with infantry, and uh, when I went to the schooling, then they decide what MOS you're going to be. I want, I originally wanted to go and be, uh, when I got out there, I was like, oh, I'll be a uh, anti-tank freaking missileman. So I, I started training for that. They found out I couldn't hike, so they put me as a rifleman. Um, but, yeah, so kind of how to choose the job, all right? If, if you know a career, if you know that this is not going to be a career for you, Really, really think deeply about what you want to do beyond the military. I know the military is right up in your face. You're coming out of high school, or maybe you got a job right out of high school, but you, you don't think that's that's for you anymore. Uh, and now you just want to go into the military, and you just want to get in there and like figure it out while you're in the military. What what do you want to do with your future? Now, I, I really want you guys to go look. I want to say ten years down the line. All right, where do you picture yourself? Do you picture yourself as an engineer? Do you picture yourself as a mechanic? Do you picture yourself as a police officer, right? These are all questions that you need to answer before you decide what field you're going to go into. Now, the other branches, if, I, if I'm not wrong, I believe that all the other three branches, or you know, four if you're counting the Coast Guard, let you choose the exact job. Now, they're going to give you a choice of five jobs, and you get to go pick which one you want, and then they'll choose from that, from that uh, picking like which one they're going to give you. Uh, if there's any vets out there who uh, want to correct me, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much spot on. But if it isn't, let me know down down in the comments. And you guys check out the comments too if I if I need to be corrected on that. But that is the that is the what I'm assuming w with all this. But you want to choose a job that's going to be good in 10 years. You want the experience. Now, for me, I wanted the experience of being a Marine. I thought that was going to change my life, and it did, uh, for the better. And um, so I, I really wanted the the brute, freaking gritty Marine Corps experience, right? What better place to do that than the infantry? Now, <laughs> if I now I wish that I, maybe I should have gone into something that would help me in in the future. Uh, I mean, right now I got out and I'm working at Apple. It's got nothing to do with riflemen. Uh, I could have done police officer. I, you know, I could have done something else, but um, it's got nothing to do with that. Um, I mean, now I'm thinking maybe EMT, so I really, and now I found out from the military that I really enjoy the medical side of the military, so now I want to become an EMT, but you see, you see what, you see what I'm saying? Like, if you know what you're going to do 10 years from down the road, before you even talk to the recruiter, you're going to have so much better of an opportunity once you get out. You're going to have experience under your belt. People hire military. That's, why, that's one of the reasons I got hired at Apple, even though it has nothing to do with anything. It's just, I was military. Um, I, I bet that if I was some sort of computer guy in the military, maybe I was Air Force, I would be in a lot higher position than I am right now. Which you know, I'm not complaining, but you gotta think of that. You gotta think about this. You can you can set yourself up for a really really good career in the future. So that that's my view on it. Um, if you guys have any other questions, leave it down in the comments. Uh, I, I I think I kind of said my two cents in this video. I told you my experience and my uh, my ideas and, and wishes. Um, I mean, me being infantry, I kind of wish I, I had done something else. Uh, but, hey, it is what it is. I got some experience nonetheless. And, uh, you know, that, that you work with it. And that's what the military, at the end of the day, teaches you. Adapting to your environment. Adapting to situations. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. See you later.